Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball. This is Super Jumbo Edition. Three box, half case, pick your or random team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. No paper ships except for these four players right here. No other exceptions. All paper will end up being donated to charity. All chrome cards do ship though. And obviously autographs and numbered paper obviously ships. So I think everyone here gets the drill by now. Big thanks everybody here for getting to the action. This is break number three, so this is uh, from a fresh case. And all 30 baseball teams are in. So let's roll it, let's randomize it. Three and a three, hard six for each list. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we got EA down to AE. Three and a three, hard six for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Orioles down to Reds. All right, so EA with the O's. Rory with the Royals and the Rays. Wade with the Tigers. Nice. Greg with the Angels. John with the Marlins. Ross with the Padres. Colin with the Diamondbacks. George with my Dodgers. Zach with the Tribe. EA with the Rocks. John with the White Sox. Brian with the Cardinals. Derek with the Rangers. Sumin with the Nationals. Zach Paul with the Cubbies. Bill with the Giants. Josh with the Yankees. Walter with the Twins. Travis with the Mariners. Ross with the Phillies. Sumin with the Brew Crew. Greg with the Mets. Chris with the Astros. Ross with the Braves. Brent with the A's and the Buccos, the Pirates, Ross with the Red Sox, John with the Blue Jays, and Adam Ewald with the Cincinnati Red Legs. So I dropped the, if you're watching live, I dropped the checklist into the chat, or sort by team right here. So feel free to trade if you'd like. I'll have a little bit of a trade window. And I'm going to flip away from the screen just for a second because we got to open up this fresh case and see which, uh, which box we're going to do. Which three boxes we're going to do. myself a little bit of room here so we'll put the top row on the left and the bottom row on the right what's up Rory Rory has the Royals and Rays up for trade Phils and Braves also up for trade flip this camera back around this way so we can see the boxes up here too we're gonna roll the die I'm going to select a nice Dodger blue die there. So we'll go one, two, three for this side and four, five, six for that side right there. And it's one. So it's going to be the left side right here. And this we will save for random team four, which is up on the site right now. All right, so we've, we've marked these RT4 so you know that they're from the same case. All right. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the breaks. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There is three box super, random team number three. Big thanks, everybody, for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. No deals were done. A little bit of trade chatter, though. Good, some good trade chatter. No deals done. Kind of slide these. I'll give myself some room there. All right, so the Super Jumbo, the obvious difference is you're getting a couple extra autographs as opposed to the Jumbo. And 
these have the, uh, the, the old sausage link packs. box okay. sausage links yeah it says rookie on it though that's cool I always just put one around Hi Ryan, don't feel I made a lot of money for the kids. We did. We just have to. We have to fill up one more break, but yeah, we did. So thanks everybody for filling up those toys for tots breaks. The tots are gonna have a lot of toys. Notice there's a slightly, you can see the paper chrome, paper chrome, paper chrome pattern. I like this pattern a little bit better than, than Jumbo. This makes it a little bit easier to rip through. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. All right, we got Drew Romo for the Rockies to four ninety nine. That'll be for EA. And there's our first paper Torkelson right here, too. That goes to Wade, who got randomized the uh, Tigers. So here are... Here are the uh, the only paper that's going to ship are those teams, and Zach is one of them. We'll sleeve and top load all of those um, before they uh, before they go out. Uh, Nolan Gorman to two fifty purple paper for the Cardinals. That'll be for Brian. And there's Slade Ciccioni to 499 for the Diamondbacks, Colin.
We've got Jaron Duran, Sparkle, for the Red Sox. That'll be for Ross, Last Spot Mojo. And our first autograph is Alex Santos for Chris Parent and the Strohs. We'll keep track of the five autographs right there. That's just our first of five. That Heston Kirkstad is for the O's. That'll be for EA. Riley Green, Purple Chrome to 250 for the Tigers. And our second autograph is going to be Carson Ragsdale. 471 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Ross and the Phillies. I feel like we need more autos out of here. I'm running out of... St oh, there's another one right there. Okay. There's a Ian Seymour to 50 for the Rays. Gold Ray going to Rory. And then we got Zach Deloche. 56 out of 250 going to Travis and the Mariners. That's our third autograph right there. Let's keep track of those autos. Let's clear away some chrome here. And here's our fourth autograph. That's Nick Bitsko for the Tampa Bay Rays. Rory tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Late first round pick for the Rays. Zach Deloche again to 150. That number looks a little. The paper number printed a little weird, right? Oh, I missed a paper V. How far ago was that?
Found it. Rockies, that's going to go to EA and the Rocks. No, no worries. Uh, the actually, Zach, the shipping team won't be going through these, so that's why it's best if you uh, if you yell at me as soon as I miss one. There's another paper Torkelson going to the Tigers, Wade. And the fifth and final autograph of box one is going to be Nick Lofton to four ninety nine. That will be for Rory and the Royals. We tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Oh, Jason said that the shipping team would be going through? Okay, well, even better. Better coverage then. Good coverage then. All right, we'll do a we'll do a recap at the end. Here's box two of three. Sausage link packs. Folks, if you are interested in a uh, personal break of this, and you're like, Joe, I, what about if I want a box all to myself? I think we have those available on Jaspies on Jaspies.com. And on Instagram Live only, at Jaspie's Breaks. Jason Jaspie is broadcasting right now, if you're watching live, at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. It's okay to be greedy. Get your own box. All right. Let's be careful with the corners there. All right, let's roll with another... Super Jumbo Box, good luck. We got uh, Alaric Soler to four ninety nine for the Twins. That'll be for Walter. Correct, yes, Nick. Very good point. If you're into the paper, all paper, of course, ships in personal breaks because, right, as Walter pointed out, it's your box. No, There's no sorting that the shipping team has to do. Just team bag them nicely, throw them into a box, and off it goes.
We got Nick Garcia to 250. Purple Chrome. For the Pirates and for... That's for Brent. And for the Mets, Greg. With the uh, Isaiah Green autograph. 119 out of 150 on that one. Our first auto of this box. Jordan Adams to 250 for purple paper for the uh, for the Halos, and this Zach Veen paper goes to EA and the Rocks. There's our first Chrome Torkelson going to Wade. And there's Robert Hassel paper for Ross and the Padres. We got Chris McMahon to 99, green chrome for the Rockies, EA with the Rocks. And look at this, for the Pirates, 22 out of 49. What is this, are, the, are these the applied pressure? Pressure makes diamond, insert? Applied pressure autograph, Aaron Shortridge, Pittsburgh Pirates. There you go, Brent. I think these cards look really cool, actually. The big diamond in the back, the autograph right there. Got a chrome Zach Bean in there too. We got a sparkle Nick Lodolo. And we've got a Spencer Strider autograph. 12 out of 99. Green Chrome Auto for Ross and the Braves. And we got Chris McMahon again for the Rocks, papered to four ninety nine. Anyone want watching this Thursday night football game, Patriots at Rams? I think I want to say that that Rams head coach Sean McVay has this crazy record where if he's if he's leading by halftime, I think these are regular season games. If he's leading at halftime, which they are, seventeen three, second half just started, he is undefeated. 
I think. Straight up. Someone fact check that, but I'm I, I think I'm pretty sure it's it's like either a hundred percent record or it's uh it's pretty close to that. Now you could argue that streaks and trends like that are made to be broken. So did the Patriots come back? And look at this. We got Alaric Soler autograph for Walter and the Minnesota Twins, the Twin Cities, the Twinkies. There you go. Second round pick. That's one, two, three, four autographs. So we're looking, still looking for the fifth and final in this box, and then we'll get into the last box. There's Joe Ryan Rays to 99. Another paper Torkelson for Wade and the Tigers. And all those Robert Hassels are going to Ross and the Padres. Another Chrome Torkelson, nice. No, he's out. Cam Newton's out there. Or are you saying what happened to Cam Newton just in general? As a football player? Injuries. Yeah, in general, I think just got to be injuries, right? That's the only thing. He, he plays a certain, certain style of football, which which is his game. You don't want him to not be Cam Newton. You know what I mean? But. The shelf life for that kind of style of play, you know, it's just not there. I think just, and now with more teams knowing he's not going to use his legs as much and be, be as reckless, and now you're forcing him to throw, which is not his strong suit. He can, but it's not his strong suit. So now when you and then you throw him into a new offense and blah 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 and not too many weapons around him and and everything and then that just is, that's the whole soup the Cam Newton soup 138 to 499 Halos gets the fifth autograph here that's for Greg it'll be interesting to see what the what the Patriots do. You know, Patriots did have a lot of a lot of dudes opt out. They're going to get a nice draft pick. You know, if they like what they see with Cam, maybe they think, maybe they think, oh, if he just works on his arm in the off season, he just had soldier sur surgery too, didn't he? Last off season, so he's kind of coming off of stuff like that. All right, here's our third and final box. Cam's not the answer, says, but yeah, actually, for the Patriots, no, I don't think so either. Virtue would rather see would rather see Stidham. Yeah, I mean, thankfully, it's just a one-year commit with Cam Newton. I think this is just a kind of Cam just saying, "Hey, I want to show that I'm healthy," and he was, except for getting like COVID, but. But physically, he seems to be okay, right? So if there's a team thinking, oh, 
we're, we can, we have the, the coaching that could rework his arm and are confident about that, then I think, yeah, you give Cam like a one or two year deal and then you kind of roll from there. I'm pretty sure, Cameron, check the schedule. All that information is uh, in, all that filler information is on the schedule. Um, but, um, but I'm pretty sure, yes. Brandon would take Cam Newton at Denver. That could be interesting. Right. Maybe you treat Cam Newton like, like uh, maybe a little like Peyton Manning towards the end of his career. Wouldn't the Bears could use a Cam Newton, right? Here's a, a big personality just to... Just a big person out in Chicago would be fun as quarterback, you know, and running running that offense. And then the defense is really doing the work, though. The Bears' defense would do the work. Cam Newton could look pretty good in a system like that, I think. So I think it's just, you know, it's not Cam of old where you just, you just roll him out there and he makes plays and he's dynamic and blah, blah, blah. I think you'd have to really work you'd have to really want him and work with him. So maybe if he works on maybe the accuracy of throwing just a little bit, that could, that could be enough for a team with like an elite defense. Bears, Denver could have an elite defense if, if they're all healthy, if they have Von Miller too, especially. So teams like that could, could squeeze out a little... Uh, extra juice out of Cam Newton without him having to do too much, but then still having a Cam Newton that'd be confident enough to make a make a big play at the end of a game when 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 you need him. In my opinion. I like Cam Newton a lot, so I might be a little biased. I think he's a fun fun character. All right, we got Christian Robinson, purple paper to 250 for the Diamondbacks. That's for Colin. So the first time you've heard someone stand up for Cam Newton. I mean, listen, if he didn't have, if he didn't have injuries, like major shoulder surgery in the last year or so. And he just declined, then I, I don't think I'd stand up for him. But I've, I, I, after major injuries like that, you kind of have to give. You kind of have to give a player that second season. In my opinion, like, you got to give him the season to just get regain confidence in the in the arm. This happens with baseball players too, right? It's not like off of Tommy John, their first full season off of Tommy John, you know, isn't too strong. Did I miss a bean? Um, I don't know why. I'm like not, oh, I've missed a Robert Hassel too. There it is. Thanks, Wade. Got it, thanks. Um, there's paper Zach Veen. And then there's the Robert Hassel as well. Too busy, I know, too busy praising Cam Newton. Come on, Cam, Cam Newton jamming me up here. That's Gage Workman, not Torkelson. There's that for the White Sox. Garrett Crochet to 150 for the White Sox. That goes to John Deneen. And Zach Deloche going to Seattle and Travis. But yeah, I mean, baseball players too, after like a major injury. I remember Corey Seager came off a, a couple hip injuries, maybe an elbow surgery. He was banged up for a little bit. And his first full season after those surgeries, he didn't look very good. You know, and to, to the point where people were like, are we trading Corey Seager? Blah, 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 blah. And then this current season, the 2020 season, I mean, he was an integral part of of the Dodgers winning the World Series. And now they're talking about how many how many years and how much how much and how many is what they're talking about here in LA. There's Owen Cassie. So it'll be 
So that's why I'm kind of saying, hey, maybe let's let's not judge Cam Newton too early. But no, he hasn't been an accurate passer, which is why I was thinking that you put him into a put him on a team where he doesn't have to pass that much, which would be teams with with near with like top five defenses, right? Bears, Broncos, Steel. I mean Steelers maybe, but I mean I think with the Steelers you just stay with Big Ben. And there's Pete Crow Armstrong. Uh, it's Greg with the Mets. Yeah, Cam Akers is looking pretty good for the Rams right now. Here's another uh, paper Torkelson for you. Wait, was was this the first auto? I think so. We got Green, Carter Baumler to 99 for the O's. That'll be for EA. And for the Tigers, a gold wave autograph, 23 out of 25. Are we, we're going with Trey, Trey Cruz. There you go, Wade. Wade with a little cat team mojo. Yeah, a hit, a hit is a hit, Brian, that's for sure. Better than nothing, I suppose. Wish it was the other guy, but... Another paper Torkelson, though. Imagine Justin Herbert in this Rams offense with McVay. Ooh. Chrome Torkelson. And we got a fish. 114 out of 250. John with the Marlins. Max Meyer.
Nice. You consider anyone on the left side of the infield a big hit, really? Yeah. I mean, if you if you look at the if you look at previous draft previous drafts in general, and you kind of take a look at you know what players project nicely, that's often your corner infielders, third baseman. That's to four ninety nine. That's Tanner Burns. What's going on, Jack? How are you? But yeah, it's generally third baseman, shortstop, some first baseman. Often project out pretty nicely. Paper right there. Oh, was there a Tanner Burns card that was paper card that was bent? Almost done here. Last auto coming up. Owen Miller to 250 purple chrome for uh, Zach and the Indians. And the last autograph is Garrett Crochet, 100 out of 499. And that is for the White Sox. That'll be for John Deneen. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This was three box, super jumbo, random team number three from a fresh case. Second half is in the store. If you want to run this back tonight. And here is a quick recap here of the super jumbo break. No worries, Wade. Thanks for getting in. I wish there was a little bit of Torkelson ink, but a handful of paper, some chrome. I don't think too bad. Gold Wave. Crow Armstrong. I thought this auto was pretty cool right here. The Applied Pressure Autograph. It was like actually kind of a lot of Torkelson Chrome. And a couple paper Torkelsons right there. And there you go, boys and girls. That was Random Team 3 of the brand new 2020 Bowman Draft Baseball. Thanks for joining. More in the store. Check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.